Hey everybody, Coach PJ Street here with Revive Fitness Systems. I got a question from one of my clients, Brian. That's a good question, uh, and I think it's something that, that people uh, wonder about and also do incorrectly quite a bit, and that's, that's, that's this. If you blow your diet on a certain day, all right, you blow over your calories, um, should you then restrict and compensate the next day? Um, and there's a lot of related scenarios to this as well, which I'll cover real quick. So the short answer is no. I don't think that you should be compensating and restricting the next day. You have to look at this in terms of what's your zoom out bigger picture long-term adherence been. Okay, so if you're trying to lose fat, you have a set number of calories, um, and you're 80 to 90% compliant with that, you know, if you look at the course of a month, if you're honestly, accurately, precisely tracking your calories, you know you're on point, call it 27 days a month, 26, call it 26 to 28 days a month, blowing your diet on a certain day, one, two, maybe three days a month, you just watch it and then move on to the next day and get back on track. It's not a big deal. If your compliance is that high over the course of a big block of time, you don't need to go to extreme measures and cut your calories down by 1,500 the next day, which probably on it, that's not going to even get you back, you know, even anyway, right? I think you just hop right back on track because what happens is people that do that that say, "Oh my God, you know, I, you know, I had a big blowout yesterday. I'm just going to eat 500 calories of egg whites and lettuce tomorrow." Well, what happens is then is that you restrict to the point that you're then ravenously hungry the next day and the likelihood of binging again goes up. So my approach would be just get back on track. Okay, whatever your, your, your normal calorie deficit is, you just go back to that the next day, right? Um, because as long as your long-term compliance over the course of a month, several months is in that 80 to 90% range, you know, a couple days a month, even if it's somewhat substantial going over, is not going to be a big deal. My client laid out this scenario was his original question was he said, hey, look, you know, last Saturday, and this is a guy who's like in that 80 to 90 percent compliance range. He said, last Saturday, I had a big breakfast and I went, I, I, you know, I went way over. And, you know, I knew even if I ate normally, I'd still be over on that day. How do I handle that? Well, it, it depends. If you have a big ass breakfast and you're tracking it, well, then you can compensate later in the day with smaller meals, smaller feeds, and still end up hitting your calories and macros. Now, if it's a humongous blowout and, and you're not tracking it, then you just chalk it up to an off plan day, no guilt, and you move on to the next day, go back to your normal cal your normal deficit calories, and you move on. Okay. Um, I get this question a lot too. Hey, yesterday I was craving something really bad and I ended up going over my calories by like 700 for the day. Can I cut 700 calories off today to make up for it? Once again, I don't think that's a good idea for the same reason. Number one, 700 calories for, for a lot of people, it's probably just a little bit of a surplus. You know, if you, if you, if you accounted for it and just said, hey, look, I'm going over, I want the, whatever it is, ice cream, whatever. I've portioned it out. It's over my deficit calories, but it's not some big blowout. Again, I would just get back on track the next day because if you compensate by 700, you know, if you're a 150 pound female eating 1600 calories a day for fat loss and you go over by 700 the day before, right? You know, number one, you probably aren't yet. You, in that case, you're not in that much of a surplus, but if you then shave off 700 from 1600 and you're eating 1200 the next day, then you're like, holy shit, I'm hungry again. And then the likelihood of binging goes up. So, you know, again, it's situation perspective and it's more about what's your long-term adherence um, and your long-term compliance over a big block of time. If you're in that 80 to 90% range, range in a 30 or 31 day month, if you're on point with it, 26, 27, 28 days a month, you just chalk it up to an off plan day and you get back on track at your normal calories and macros the next day. And, that, and that's really it. Um, one other real quick, one other scenario I get from people is, 
hey, look, I'm, I'm having, you know, I'm going to have an off plan day, you know, this coming Saturday, I got people coming to town, we're going out to a big dinner, or I'm having people over for a grill out, and I'm not going to be tracking my food at that meal. What do I do earlier in the day to mitigate the damage? That's a good question. And I think that that, that, that warrants some consideration. If you know you're going to have a big blowout um, at dinner, for instance, on a weekend, you can, in fact, compensate a little bit earlier in the day. I like that strategy. So let's say you're, you're a 200-pound dude who's losing fat, has been losing fat consistently at 2,200 calories a day. All right. If you know you're going to have a blowout on that day, um, you know, at one big meal, maybe you take half of your calories for the day. All right. Call it 1,100 calories. And up until that meal, that's what you're going to have. You're going to have 1,100 calories, and it's mostly going to come from protein. All right. So then you got half your calories left for the day. And then, you know, you're going to go over, but at least then you've mitigated the damage. Okay. It's better than eating your normal intake, right? Up until that point. Okay. Now you've eaten 2,200. Then you're going to have the blowout. Okay. Well, now we're in a 3,000, 4,000 calorie surplus versus potentially only a, a 2,000 or a 3,000 calorie surplus for the day. So, um, Anyway, I thought I think a lot of people think about this type of stuff and, and don't really have a, a real good perspective on it. So I hope this helps.